Family, 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 family. What the problem is? What's going on? It's your boy Dark. Coming at you with another, I don't know, vlog. What I want to talk to you today about is how to enjoy your cigar when you're on vacation. Currently, right now, I'm on vacation. I'm in Taylor and Almond on the Eastern Shore in Maryland. I'm from Baltimore. I'm a Baltimore City boy, city dude. And basically out here on Tillman Island, I'm out like in the county area, you might as well say. So my vlog today is how to enjoy a cigar while you're on vacation. So the tools that I use to enjoy cigars when I'm on vacation. I have my Bluetooth speaker, cell phone. Of course, you gotta have your cigars. Have carry my cigar humidor with me, and special little drink. Him though, I left my little drink on the little pair right here, but it is what it is. But have your drink. So how I enjoy cigars, I need my tools, cell phone, Bluetooth speaker. My cigar humidor and a drink. Two drinks. Because I like to have my little sippy sip. Also, I need my water, something like that, to balance things out. So, those are the tools that I take with me every time that I go away. So I can enjoy my cigars and have a good time and enjoy my peaceful and serene surroundings or wherever surroundings I'm in. So right now, I'm gonna spark me up a cigar. What I have for you today is I'm going to be doing the uh, Drew Estates Jacob's Ladder. That's right, the Drew Estates Jacob's Ladder. So let me go ahead, spark this thing up. Oh, look at the Lord Duckies. The Lord Duckies, Lord Duckies, Lord Duckies. Look at the Lord Duckies, y'all. I had to show you this before I get into this. I'm back. <laughs> Couldn't show you the Lord Duckies that good because I got on the wide lens on the camera. So, couldn't show you the duckies the way I wanted to show you the duckies. While well, Greg get into this, please like, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Help me grow the channel. Let me go ahead and hit this real quick. Toast that bad boy up, get it in, get it cracking. There we go. So, I explained to you the tools that I use when I go away every time. It's a necessity for me when I go on vacation, which I try to do at least three, four, five times a year. Gotta get away. It ain't necessarily always have to be on vacation. Sometimes you just go out to a nice park, a nice area, and you just want to chill. Sometimes you're by yourself. Sometimes you might be with your significant other. Like my for instance, she like wine, so I try to make sure I have wine for her. My cigars, my little hit for me. On some days I take wine with my cigar, but hopefully. In this little brief discussion or whatever you want to call this vlog that you get a takeaway from this. So first thing I'm going to talk about is having a Bluetooth speaker. So many Bluetooth speakers out there that can get the job done. I have a whole bunch of Bluetooth speakers. 
I have the clip. Matt, uh, all these uh, Bluetooth speakers are by JBL. I have the Clip 4, the Flip 5, the Extreme 2, and I have the uh, Boombox. And I also have the Harman Kardon Low Round Speaker. All of them are great. So, I would recommend you or recommend anyone who smokes cigars and they go out to different locations and take your radio with you, take your Bluetooth speaker with you. They can be very portable. My little clip one clip right to my humidor. Bam. And it got plenty of volume. Right now, I have the Extreme 2 that's extremely loud. You can hear my little uh, program talk radio in the background, but. That's what I do, but first, invest in a good Bluetooth speaker. They help you keep you entertained. Me, I DJ, plus I just love music, period. So I, I develop good playlists on my phone. Sit back, relax, hit my little playlist. I'm off and running, enjoying my time. Of course, Cigar is always the star of the show. You have your stogie. Then you have your drink. Have a little hit if you want to get a little razzle dazzle. You know, have a good cognac, whiskey, scotch, rum, whatever you drink, tequila. Sometimes I carry my little, uh, I can't even think there is escaping room tonight, right now. You know what I'm talking about, your little uh, thermos, I guess you'll call it. Have your little thermos. Mix you up some. Put something in there straight. Or have your little flash. Take a little flash with you. It's another pro tip. Take a flash with you if you like to hit your little cognac. You have your cigars. And you have a hell of an evening. Sit back, relax. Smoke your stogie. Sit like me. I'm sitting on the water on the Chesapeake. Watching boats go by. God damn, they got a spotter pot on a goddamn boat. Never seen that before. That is a first. A spot. I wish I could show you, but this lens ain't gonna reach. The back of the boat got two spotter pots on it. <laughs> that is crazy. Unless they deliver them somewhere. But other than that, they got spotter pots on the boat. And speaking of that, yesterday, me and my lady, we took a nice little. Let's see if I can get a little sun so you can see my black ass. We took a nice sailboat ride yesterday on the Chesapeake. And they kept stressing, even on the website when you read, they kept stressing, go to the bathroom before you get on the boat. So, of course, we did that and everything. Everything worked out. We had to use the bathroom. They stress to go to the bathroom before you get on the boat. They get on the boat, they say they have something called the head. I have no idea what a head is that's on the boat, but it sounds nasty. So I'm equating to what the head look like or what the head is. It's like back in the day when you had an outhouse. This is the damn outhouse on the boat. I guess that's what a head is, an outhouse on the boat. You can comment on that, but that's some nasty ass shit. That's nasty. I'm glad I ain't had to do nothing. But. <laughs> the moral of the story is seeing the damn spy pots on the boat. I'd rather take that, but I don't want to get on no damn boat. He ain't got no goddamn bathroom on there. I need facilities. And then we on the sailboat. We drinking wine. We drinking. We ain't bring no food on there. They ain't had no food, but they had wine. We drinking. You had to go to the bathroom, and it was a two-hour, it's a two-hour boat cruise, or boat sail, I should say. But, but anyway, now I felt like I'm rambling, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, so I can sit back, hit my lower hit, even though it's early in the morning. Shit, did the damn ash just fall on me? The hell? Yeah, so to wrap this up, how I enjoy my cigars, 
Especially on vacation. Especially sitting on my patio. Especially on locations like parks and things of that nature or you just pull up somewhere where it might be, I don't know, something going on, but like really no entertainment or music value. Bluetooth speaker, of course your cigars, and your drink. That's it. Now, sometimes my girl will take a little cooler, and we always, I keep my cooler with me, and I keep my lawn chair with me lawn chair is off the chain my lawn chair is off the chain my lawn chair has a cooler on it it has a table on it it have different drawers where you can store stuff on it the thing is off the thing is off the chain it's called uh the picnic table picnic chair something I can't remember the name of it. Maybe I'll put it in the description. It begin with an O. O N I O N I V something. Picnic. Man. And plus it converts into a backpack. So I'm wearing it as a backpack. I got my stuff with me. Everywhere we go, people always comment on my on my um chair. That thing is off the chain. I'ma tell you something crazy that I do every time right now I share the story which I go to the damn car dealership to get my vehicle serviced and I sit outside with my lawn chair my Bluetooth speaker and my cigars and the people come out and join me the only thing they say is missing is beer I ain't gonna sit up there and drink in front of people's stands so I have my waters have my waters my cigar and my Bluetooth speaker sitting at the car dealership. You know, sometimes they working on your vehicle. They take a long time. This is what I do. And they laugh at me every time. They already know when I'm coming because they see the backpack chill on my back. They know I'm going outside. The service rep know to come outside to give me the prognosis. That's what I say. It's like going to the damn doc. Give me the prognosis. Diagnosis. And uh, then what's the last thing? The end result of getting it fixed or cured or whatever. So that is what I do. That's what I do. And you see me popping up more and more around town. That's that's what I'm rolling. That's how I'm rolling. So just to wrap this up. Cigar. Bluetooth speaker. And your drink water. It don't always have to be alcohol or water, or whatever. But damn, talking, having this conversation on this vlog. Keep your lawn chair with you as well. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Just trying to drop a little knowledge on the brothers and sisters of the leaf. No matter what your ethnic background is, sex, race, gender. This is just how I do. I know y'all can hear this damn bird. Cock, cock, bat, 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 bat. But that's what I do. Put these practices in. Your routine, I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. And your boy, and I'm out. Peace.